long time for God For the dreams just fell by the way And a good life he promised May what she live in today But she never complained about The good things or the bad things he's done Oh Lord she just talks about the good times All of her good times have gone They have gone She's a good-hearted woman In love with a good time in man She loves him in spite of his wicked ways That she don't understand Two teardrops and laughter that pass to this world and the night. She's a good-hearted woman, loving her good time and man. Bright lights and good time and friends When the party's all over She welcomes him home once again But she never complained about The good things or the bad things he's done no. She just talks about the good times all of her good time to go. Yep, John. She's a good hearted woman in love with a good time in man. She loves him in spite of his wicked ways that she don't understand. Their teardrops and laughter pass through this world and in hand. She's a good-hearted woman, loving her good time and man. She's a good-hearted woman, loving her good time and man. Thank you. Oh, is Howard coming? Yeah, he's gonna come. Well, I don't want to block you. Where you at, Howard? You're fine, man. Oh, you're here to watch. Is it Tony Dixon? I'll tune it in quite a bit. Give me a, give me a G. G. Is that how you get it in the back? Okay. Y'all tell me what you're doing. G Liberty. G C and D. G Liberty. Yeah, G C and D. G Liberty and G. Somewhere.
Dixie, are you sure that washboard's in tune? No, I tuned it a while ago, but if y'all switch keys, you better let me know. Okay. <laughs> she has to turn it on the flip side to get it in the different keys. Yes. So if y'all see her flip it, she's changing keys. Are those garden rakes she's using? Uh, well. They could be. Yeah, they might. Yeah, it's possible. There's some other functions for them, too. But. I can't pay the rent. No, wait, that's... Thank you for the way. I can't pay the rent. You must pay the rent. <laughs> what do you want to do next, Cowboy? It's the next scratcher, too. Oh, man, yeah. I'll go to sleep you do much of that. Don't bother. You might have a permanent wave. My permanent wave. Well, I can get that, too, wave. <laughs> 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 well, I got a permanent wave. What are we doing? I don't know. Do some old Dave Macon stuff, John. Well, I would like to do this for Miss Arlene over there. She asked, she always asked for this, and uh, this is a song that Uncle Dave did. It's one of my favorites, and uh, hope y'all enjoy it tonight. And I think this is in G. Hold on a minute, I gotta tune my banjo again. Get in tune with the large board, huh? Well, that was pretty quick. That was the quickest I've ever tuned. Okay. Now, this is called Gwine Back to Dixie. In the key of G, boys. Oh, and girls. Excuse me. Yeah. Dixie, you got it tuned up? G. Check it. Okay, there you go. Not like this. I'm a going back to Dixie. I'm going where the orange blossoms grow. I miss the old plantation, my home and my relation. My heart's turned back to Dixie and I must go. My hog and hominy, my pumpkin and red gravy. My appetite, it's failing, so says old Uncle Davy. And if my friends forsake me, I pray the Lord to take me. My heart's turned back to Dixie, and I must go. I'm going back to Dixie, I'm going back to Dixie. I'm going where the orange blossoms grow. My home and my relation My heart's turned back to Dixie And I must go All right, Dan, let's fiddle it I've hoed in the fields of cotton I've worked down on the river I used to say if I'd get off I'd never go back, no, never But times have changed The old man, his head is bending low His heart's turned back to Dixie And I must go I'm going back to Dixie I'm going back to Dixie I'm going where the orange blossoms grow My heart's turned back to Dixie and I must go For my heart's turned back to Dixie and I must go Yeah, Miss Arlene, that's for you, thank you Washboard stays in better tune. Oh, your washboard in better tune? <laughs> yeah, it sure does. Once you get it knocked in tune, yeah, yeah, I've noticed that washboard stays in better tune than the banjo. Of course, anything that, stays in tune. Y'all know the difference between a Harley Davidson and a banjo? You can tune a Harley. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do, Daniel? Yeah, uh, Lord, what about a little bit down yonder? That's a good one. That's a good one. Yes, sir. Can you hear that little hammer there? Huh? John, let John. John do it yeah. on the banjo. Can you do that okay. little? Well, you yeah. get us up, boy. I did. You still got your permanent wife, Dixie? Clarence. <laughs> we was wondering if there was a crick nearby. That was built by a Yoder, I think. <laughs> What's the next song? Oh, yeah. Okay. What key? Oh, uh, G. I had a request, and I uh, want to do a tune for you in the, in the Earl Scruggs style. In fact, Earl played this, and if y'all remember the the TV show Beverly Hillbillies, then you'll know this song. A lot of people say, well, I said Beverly Hillbillies song. Well, there's actually a name to that piece that I'm getting ready to play. It's called The Ballad of Jed Clampett. And if y'all want to sing it, you're welcome to, but I'm going to pick it, okay? <laughs> Ballad of Jed Clampett. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs>
for the man running the camera back there. Thank you, sir. All right. Hmm. Howard, sing one there, buddy. Uh, I'm just playing with John. Oh, no. <laughs> Go ahead and do one. We'll slack you up on it. No. I'm just playing with y'all. Uh, C. 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 Goodbye, Job. Me gotta go, me oh my. Me gotta go, pop, he roll down the bayou. My even sweetest one, me oh my. Son of a gun, we have the fun on the bayou. Jumble like crawfish pie, feel the gumbo. What a night. See my machete meal Big guitar Filled from jar And the gale Son of a gun Allowed big fun On the bio Dan Wallace Oh yeah An old Cajun fiddle Tippy told the fart and all oh, the place is buzzing. Can folk come to see it bond by the dozen? Dressing style, go hawk wild, me oh my. Son of a gun will have big fun on the bio. Jumble like crawfish pie, filly gumbo. For tonight I'm going to see my Michelle and me, oh Pick it high, fill the jar and the gale Son of a gun, we'll have the fun on the bio Mr. John Dobler Move from town, settle down, get me a piro. Catch me every fish that swims in the bio. Say my mom, buy you fun, what she want. Son of a gun, we'll have the fun on the bio. Jumble like crawfish pie, Philly gumbo. For tonight I'm gonna see my machete meal Big guitar, fill fruit jar and the gale Son of a gun, will have the fun on the bio Son of a gun, will have the fun on the bio There you go. <laughs> Borrow that a while. Okay. I gotta get, I'll get Wade back up here and do two or three. Sometime. Wade, you ready? Get your guitar and come on. We'll just play with you. Get up here and do two or three. We won't close out for too long. It's up there. Is it up here? Oh, let me get out of your way. Damn, we're sitting on it. Well, I'm going to get over here and move <laughs> one of these stools that's over there. You're going to sit next to the fan, ain't you? Play with him. I'm, I'm going to get over here in the back now. Yeah, I'm going to get a fan for this going over here. You're going to play the washboard. Stuff it. You'll never forget that. Oh, I'd like to do an old song that I learned from a Hilo Brown record called The Girl in the Blue Velvet Band. 
While out one evening for a ramble The air was just a mountain I met a young lady from Frisco On the corner of cherry and pine On her face was beauty of nature Her eyes they seemed to expand Her hair was rich and so brilliant Entwined in the blue velvet band Down the street we two stroll together In my she placed her small hand She planted the evidence on me For oh, the girl in the blue velvet band Then I heard the scream of the siren And the girl in the blue velvet band She left me to face all the trouble With a diamond that was worth ten grand They sent me to prison for stealing God knows I'm an innocent man But the guilty one now lies dying For oh, the girl in the blue velvet band I'll be out in a year but I'm leaving I carry that name of a man Who served ten years in a prison for the girl in the blue velvet band. Flat. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, flip the board on that, Dixie. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta keep for that, Dixie. <laughs> I had one. It was a bungee cord, but Steve left it. <laughs> a bungee cord. Playing being flat. Yeah, well, it broke. Dad burned put my eye out, so he I had to play. play. He goes. <laughs> I can't for the prisoner song. Yeah, well, prisoner song. Like the way high level. <laughs> Now I can't even think of it myself. Permanent wave. He's got that permanent wave. I guess I'll just strum it out. And we'll figure it out from there. Well, if I had a ship on the ocean that was mounted with silver and gold, well, before my little darling would suffer, well, that ship would be anchored and sold. Oh, meet me tonight, love, meet me, meet me out in the moonlight alone. Tall in the moonlight alone Well, if I had someone to love me for oh, someone that would call me their own For I'm out in this old world wonder Lord, I'm tired of living alone Oh, meet me tonight, love, meet me Meet me out in the moon 
lot alone I have a sad story to tell you But must be told in a moonlight alone Wings of an angel Over these prison walls I would fly Then I'd fly To the arms of my darling Lord, I'm there I'd be willing to die Oh, meet me tonight Love, meet me Meet me out in the moonlight alone I have a sad story Do one or? Okay. Dixie, you need to sing on this. What are we going to do? Try a little Irene. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, yeah. That'll water up glass eyes. Is that good? Everybody come back to see us in Asbury, and we're going to wish you a pleasant good evening and bring somebody with you next time. And you can't beat the price. The admission's free, so just come on out. It just has a mind of its Till then, everybody join in and sing here if you want to. Last Saturday night I got married Me and my wife settled down Now me and my wife have parted I think I'll go strolling downtown Good night, I ring. Good night, I ring. I'll see you in my dream. Sometimes she sleeps in pajamas Sometimes she sleeps in her gown Oh yeah But when they're both in the laundry Irene's the talk of the town You bet Irene, good night Irene, good night Good night, Irene Good night, Irene I'll see you in my dream John Stop your rambling, stop your gambling, stop your staying out late at night. Uh -uh. Go home to your wife and family, sit by the fireside so bright. Everybody. Irene, good night Irene, good night Good night, Irene Good night, Irene I'll see you in my dream 
Good night, everybody. Thank you. Yes, sir. To uh, thank our sponsors, starting with Ace Hardware, they can be reached at 721-2500. They're located at Gray's Crossing there in Tennessee Ridge. That's on Highway 49. That's Ace Hardware. You can reach them at 721-2500. Ace Hardware, your friendly hardware place. Signature Healthcare, where quality of life is their mantra. Located in the Arctic community of here in Tennessee. They can be reached at 289-4141 for any information you may need. From a dream to reality, Traditions First Bank. They can be reached at 289-5500. It doesn't matter whether it's a, a banking account, a checking account, buying a car, or a house there. Check them out. Houston, Houston County's, County's County. only Looking hometown bank. Children daily, whether it's a simple volleyball or a uh, show or, or uh, anything just to keep and, it and electrical and heating and air conditioning for all your plumbing electrical heating and air conditioning needs call us at 931-289-4301 we install rude reliable heating and air conditioning products call us at 931-289-4301 call us today Again, that's Arnold's Heating and Cooling, and their offices are at 2211 West Main Street here in Erin, Tennessee.
Did y'all get? Yeah. Did I just do a lot of extras? some tests on and he's went and passed his uh, commercial plumbing inspector tests and residence plumbing uh, tests. Our uh, committee reports planning commission. Ms. Yeah the planning commission met and um, approved the division of the county's property with their uh, emergency services building, so that'll be divided, and then the next, and the uh, planning commission also approved um, allowing everything to, uh, you know, every all the plans are ready to be approved by the building inspector, and then it's ready to go. So it won't have to come before planning commission. So I think that, right, correct, the last steps to divide the property and then get the next uh, building in place. Move on down to new business. I've uh, informed y'all a work session. We're going to have to do some paving. Keep that in mind and excuse it when we have a budget hearing. We'll discuss paving at that time. Uh, and I told you also we needed to buy a blower for the sewer plant. I need permission from the board to advertise for this blower. Uh, we estimated about $35,000. Motion to approve your advertising. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. <coughs> Next thing I have is a donation for the Houston County Hospital. 
Uh, I've got Mary Batten down, but I see Mr. I see Mr. Mary Clark sitting out there. Come on up. I asked your officer to give me a podium. I'll give, give me something to hold my hand. Okay. The, uh, uh, I think most of you know the, uh, uh, what we're asking for. I did a little bit more research on it uh, uh, today and uh, to find out because, you know, I want to make sure what we are asking you for that it, it doesn't create a problem for you or, or the county. And I, I made a phone call to our state controller's office. I don't know who Lori uh, talks to up there. Who, who do you talk to? I spoke, well, I spoke to a couple people. Um, hold on now. Ron you. Quinn? Pardon? Ron Quinn and Steve Osmond. Uh, Ron Quinn and Steve Osmond. It doesn't make it. Ron, Ron Quinn and Steve Osmond is the gentleman that reviews all budgets for the state of Tennessee. They review all the budgets for the cities. They review all the budgets for the counties. Uh, I questioned to them, and, and I explained them thoroughly what we were doing, how the county had purchased the hospital, uh, that the uh, uh, we paid off the people that uh, was owed that, uh, Pinnacle Bank, uh, Mr. Shoemaker, uh, where he borrowed the money. We also paid the judgments that had been filed, and the only thing that we liked was the taxes that uh, is back taxes from the city of Erie. And I explained to him that we were going to pay those taxes. Houston County is going to pay the city of Bend those taxes uh, because uh, that's just the way it ought to be. But in return, we were going to ask the city to make a contribution or a donation back to the county so that we could give that money to the hospital. Because right now is the most critical time for the hospital. Uh, we're not getting any Medicare money in, and we won't for a while. And we met up there today with our uh, CEO, and it's going to cost us approximately $400,000 a month in expenditure. And very little money is going to come in because we don't have our Medicare money. And so we need all the money we can put together to keep, to keep the operation going smoothly, which, I, which, I, which we're, we're going to do. We're not going to let it fall through the cracks. We made a commitment. <coughs> but... In the meantime, we're monies that we've got, if we give it to the city, then that's less money than we can give to the hospital. And I think it's to the tune of $35,000. Well, we've not asked the city to do anything else. We didn't ask you to participate in helping to save the hospital or buy it. I don't think anybody jumped forward to get on the bandwagon, and, but Houston County did. They took the step that was needed to make sure that the citizens here in the city of Erin and the people in the county have a hospital. And so today what we're doing is asking that you make a contribution back to the county so that we can, and, and for that money to be used strictly for the operation of the hospital. Now the state controller tells me, said, Mr. Clark, there's nothing wrong with that. That's done all the time across the state of Tennessee. We see it constantly. <clears throat> cities make contributions to counties, and counties make contributions to cities. It's just a standard procedure. And there's not an issue there in regards to doing it. The only issue that I see is, are you willing to take that step, just like the county did, and support your local hospital? This hospital means a great deal to the city of Erin. It means a great deal to Houston County. We're not going to, the county's not going to spend the money. It's going to go to the hospital where it needs to go right now. But we need to know that. I'm going to pay you taxes, promise you. You're going to get them within the next two or three days because I'm going to get a good clear title for that property. It's just whether you're willing to what I think needs to be done. And I think the citizens of the county, and I think your citizens, deserve that. He also, he quoted me a section in your charter, and I'd never read your charter. I had any reason to do that. He said, George, he said, look under this section, or I say, page 8, article 1, subsection S. 
And it says it gives them the authority to do it. And you're more than welcome to do that. I, I read it. It pretty much, and I, and I can read, I'm going to read just a little section. I'm not going to read all of it, but it's really interesting to sit and read your chart. Uh, but I printed it off this afternoon. And I won't read all of it, but I'm, this is subsection S. To exercise and enjoy all other powers, functions, rights, privileges, and, and immunities necessary or desirable to promote or to protect the safety, health, peace, security, good order, comfort, convenience, morals, and general welfare of the city and its inhabitants. That puts it all together. That gives you the authority to do what we're asking you to do. With that said, you know, I'll, I'll try and answer any questions, but I'm not a lawyer. Don't want to try to be. But I know that uh, I've been doing this for 20-something years, and if someone told me that, I, that contributions couldn't be made by a county or for a city, I knew something was wrong. And so that's why I contacted who I consider the authority when it comes to budgeting in the state of Tennessee, and that's the state control's office. Because they look at all of our budgets. Everybody. Any questions? Anybody else got anything they'd like to say? I'm not, you know, I'm the, uh, I'm usually a back row Baptist, but this, I guess tonight I'm a Baptist. So. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, we would appreciate anything that you can do for the hospital. Y'all, counsel got any questions? Thank you, Mr. Clark. Thank you. Mayor Clark. <clears throat> I know myself, and I feel like these eight aldermen has uh, really been torn with us. If we want to do what's right, we don't want to lose hospital. But well, there's a world of people that has uh, had heart attacks, and they wouldn't have made it to Nashville, to Vanderbilt, or some of those places if it hadn't been for the hospital up here on the hill. And uh, the last thing I want to do is create a problem to, to lose it. But I was out of socket all day. I was at another meeting and uh, I got occupied when I left and didn't come back. And Miss Pendergrass has gave me a book and uh, I've tried to study it and tried to study it and I hadn't had a chance to decipher it all. Uh, I would like to uh, see if they, if the board wanted to entertain uh, uh, a motion to uh, uh, postpone this for another date or to the first Tuesday of next month. We'll, I'll do whatever y'all want to do. And may I? May I? Yes. Everybody here. <coughs> Mayor Clark, we've got to thank you for what you've done. Mm -hmm. We all have experiences. I'm one of those, if they hadn't stabilized my heart before they shipped me to Nashville, you wouldn't have to put up with me tonight. <laughs> the problem that we have as council, or that I have, our budget committee is going to meet next week. Right now, I do not know what, where we will take it from. It, the Main Street, the architectural wonder we've got out, it makes everyone look better. But in doing that, the matching part of Irem went out there. Well, we're going Mr. to discuss Parliament, this before there's a motion before the board. I'm going to make a motion, Mr. Taylor, shortly. Okay? I hope it's shortly. It is. <laughs> and it may not even get a second. Okay? We'll see. But this is nothing more than information of where we are. Now, we are losing the 17000 And this is because we are so tight 
We're losing 17,000 from the hospital taxes and 2,000 from the flood fund. Forever. That's gone. That means we have to lay off somebody or raise taxes 10 cents. What? I, we have only known about this for less than a week. I would like to, and I'm going to make the motion, that we table this until next month. It will be two months before you can get the money anyway because we have to go through the ordinance first reading and second reading. Our budget committee meets next week to where we see where we can take some trying to get the whole 37,000. If we can get 30 and more later, I'm assuming you would, and then we would make a proposal and we will try, I, I'm chairman of the budget committee, I will try my best to find out where we can find, is it 37,000? Uh, Lord, it's, it's around 37 and it's going to grow. I mean, it's, it's not <laughs> staying at that rate. So if the longer you go, the more it well, will be that we'll end up having to we'll pay. Mr. So. Clark, since it will be two months before you can get the money, because we have to read the ordinance and then to read the second time, would it be permissible, with, I'm, my, here is my motion, that we hold this on the table until May. And I, no hard feelings if there's no second. I'll second that. Mm -hmm. I think we need to take a look at the budget. I mean, I'm glad to help out. I just I just need to know how it's going to affect the rest and how we do it. And can how much. Just, and how much we can do. I just say a few more things? Uh, guys, you know, Houston County borrowed seven and a half million dollars. We're going to pay you thirty-seven thousand. We're not asking you really to give that money back to us so I can pay on that note. I'm asking you to give that money back so I can give it to these people that work here in the hospital. And a lot of these people live in your city. They live in Houston County. They create jobs. Without that hospital, you know, you're, you, you talk about what you've lost. You don't know what you have lost. If we hadn't stepped forward and made that big step to do it. And we're going to give you the 37. It's not like it's already in your budget. It has not been in your budget. Because you hadn't been getting it just like the county hadn't been getting it. So this is money we're going to give you. We're just asking you to give it back to the hospital. It'd be different if it was money that you'd already been getting all along, but you're not doing that. And setting the table, I think you know the issue. You're not, you know, all of you are intelligent, all of you have been around, and it's not the first time that you made a contribution. This is a, this is a <coughs> contribution like you make to other organizations. The only thing, you're making it to the biggest and the largest industry in your city, not only to protect their jobs, but also to protect the health and the welfare of the people you represent. Now think about what I'm saying. Why table something when you know what you can do? And I, I didn't call Ron Quinn from the State Controller's Office to come over here and tell you something wrong. Because I deal with him too. He's not easy guy to deal with sometimes. But when this gentleman tells me that it is very common, it is done all the time across the state of Tennessee for you to make a contribution <coughs> to Houston County so that we can give it back to the hospital. I ask you to take action on it, not just keep postponing. If we had postponed a long time ago, when we had two days to make a decision of whether to put $30,000 up there to make payroll, if we postponed, well, we can't do anything because we've got to wait two weeks or we've got to wait another two months, there wouldn't be a hospital there. It was, it was not easy, but I have a legislative body that understood 
the situation, and they signed off on it. They signed off on it. We didn't even meet for probably another month, and I made that move, and we took care of that thirty thousand. That we'll never get. We're not planning on getting back. That's thirty thousand that we made right off the bat. And all we're asking you to do is to give money back that we want to give you. That's it. So, I personally think you ought to take action. That's my personal opinion. The person at the comptroller's office that I've been in touch with, Mr. Clark, is Mr. Jim Arnett. He did inform me, um, and again, I just gave that, this information to the mayor this afternoon. I just received it today. He did uh, the information, um, those of you that I wasn't able to contact by email, I just gave it to them prior to the meeting. They've not had a chance to look at it. The information does say what Mr. Clark has said, that the city can make a donation to the hospital because the hospital is owned by the county. It is not improper. Um, he, he didn't mention that it's done all the time or anything. Uh, he did comment that the governing body of the municipality is responsible for making decisions that are in the best interest of the citizens they serve and for complying with applicable laws and guidelines related to the municipal donations as attached. He attached information about donations, which we are familiar with, which is composed of what is required. Um, let me see, I'll read a part of it if I can, which will kind of ex um, explain to you the, the um, tabling it. For us to, it's the end of our budget year, as, as well as I'm sure it's the end of your budget year. At the end of your budget year, those of you that don't work with the budget, things are pretty tight pretty tight. You know, you've budgeted what you think you're going to spend. $40,000 is not something that we have an excess in our general budget. In order to make a donation of that size, it has to be done by ordinance. We have to amend the budget. In order to make a donation, you have to amend the budget prior to writing that check. You cannot spend money that is not appropriated. And I'm sure, Mr. Clark, that's not something that is foreign to you. So when you say, uh, and, and I don't know what I don't know what your your thoughts are on as as far as as a timeline to to get this this um, money. If if in fact I, I don't know what the the thoughts are of the board, but if if in fact they did decide to make a donation to the hospital. It's not something that could be done this week or next week anyways. It requires two hearings or two readings and a public hearing. So and we, tabling it just puts it off. That, that's tabling, why I'm saying tabling well, it there, puts it off. There not I it has to have an ordinance before, whenever if if you so but chose tabling it just puts it off further. It can be heard for first reading next month. Or, uh, that's what her motion. I don't think that's what her motion said, is it? Yes, I in my but uh, if you all want to, whatever you want to do, I have asked for our budget committee to see where we can find that money and try diligently. It would put off one month uh, for you to get actually receiving the money. Instead of two months, it would be three months. I, I, I understand the procedure you've got to go through. That, we have to go through that too. So, but I think Mr. Taylor is correct. I think if you'll make a motion that you will bring it to an ordinance that you've got to go through in, in regards to that, then and if it takes that means two months. Is that what it's going or or can you After the first can you reading. not? And I, I'm asking. I, I know a lot of times uh, we'll pass something and then uh, I may recess and then come back or or. It's still waiting two months. Can you not have a special meeting? You know, guys, that's well, we're doing business. It's not. This is not play. This is business. It's you know. It's so. It needs to be done as soon as you possible. You can have a special meeting, but to have a special called meeting, you still have to advertise for it. It has to advertise for ten days prior to your meeting, and 
Well, that's a, that's up to you all. Um, I'm just saying, if you table, I think Gary's right. If you table it, then you got, then you got to wait. Then you don't know. Are you really going to do an ordinance at the next meeting? Is that your motion? That, I, I can do an ordinance way. and leave the number for you all to tell me what you want at the first reading. You can have the first reading, make whatever changes you want made, and have it on second reading whenever, whenever you all decide. It's, it's up to what you. What I was wanting to do was find which accounts that we could take some from. That, well, that is how close we are. Of course, I don't know how you're, you know, I can't, I'm not into your accounting, but, but I am, yeah, I am going to write you a warrant or a check for whatever your taxes are. And I'm going to do that in the next couple of days because there's no reason for this to keep building up and meet us paying more interest because we're going to have to pay it to you. So we're going to go on and pay that. So you're going to have 37 or whatever those taxes are, around $37,000. You're going to have that extra because you didn't figure that in your budget, surely, that you was going to get $37,000 from Patient's Choice Medical Center. I hope you did. You know, you're going to ask these people over there. If you, if you did that, you'll be on the long list of other people that got whatever. So I'm saying we're going to give you the money so that you can give it back to us. So, so looking at your budget, We've it, got to find what, what we're going to take it from. I don't know, but I can give you a better figure. We're going to try our best to get the money to you. Guaranteed. There's a motion and a second on the floor. Let's do something. All in favor of the motion. Aye. Aye. Motion to table discussion to May meeting. I guess I'll put motion to table hospital uh, donation, hospital donation. Is that okay, Ms. Nina? Mm -hmm. So budget committee can see where we're going to find the money. You want that included in your motion? Yes. So budget committee can find categories for this money. <coughs> Motion to table hospital donation discussion to May meeting so uh, budget committee can find category for money. By um, Ms. Nina, second Ms. Betsy. Alderman Bailey. No. Alderman Campbell. No. Alderman Dunn. Alderman Finley? Yes. Alderman Gooden? No. Alderman Lincoln? Yes. Alderman Mitchell? No. Alderman Taylor? No. And we have five no, two, three yeses. <coughs> Mayor, you want to? Okay. Motion fails. Now I would like to make a motion. Let me make a comment here. Uh, did I miss something here? Didn't the mayor Clark? Didn't he say he was just going to write us a check for the taxes? That's correct. Whatever, whatever they may be. We turn around and, and bounce it back to you. It's just a paper trail. That's exactly it's right. It's always square. It's in and out. We, we don't lose nothing. No. Okay. Right. He's going to write us a check. We write it back. That's where we get the money from. Right. Thank you. <laughs> Um, my motion is to go ahead and get through with this tonight. The um, hospital, as I understand it, couldn't make payroll when y'all first got involved in this. And you came up with 30 grand to meet the payroll, which is great. I mean, this, I'm, I'm like most of these people here. The hospital in this community is very important. 
but that has nothing to do with my motion. Um, as also as I understand it, Gladys called and changed. Is she here? Uh, yeah, uh, called and changed the name of the water meter and so on yesterday into the new name, and that's what was appropriate. It had to be done, but we're probably going to get to eat that, right, Mayor? Uh, six thousand. Whatever, so do you? Huh? Uh, in, in what? Sewer. Well, the water and sewer bill for the hospital and the office building and so okay. on. Okay. Well, well, Y'all don't plan to pay that, do you? Houston County did not buy the business. We bought you bought the, the hospital building. We bought building. the hospital facilities. That's, and so Patients' Choice Medical Center is still a corporation. And, uh, yeah, and they to still go own. after that's crazy. Yeah, yeah I know. I mean, you, other you bills are paying. paying. They're not, not planning to pay that. We're not picking up their debt. No. That's what I'm that's saying. It. That's I about $6,200. $6, My motion is to match what y'all did to meet the payroll with a dollar certain of $30,000. After we eat the water and sewer bill, it's about $37,000. But the motion is for $30,000 certain from the city, not a uh, variable amount that's going to change in two weeks or three weeks or a month, but $30,000 flat. That's my motion. I'll second it. Is Mr. Clark going to agree to this? I mean, <laughs> we don't have to it's, say it's not for me to agree. <laughs> it's for you. Yeah. Uh, but oh. we have a motion and a second. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. If this is going to be first reading on an ordinance, it will have to be a roll call. Right? Is well, that an ordinance? I don't have an ordinance, so I'll, I'll just, we can have first reading. I, I'll have That's to. That's just my clarification. Is this going to be an ordinance to change our budget for this? Well, I thought I'd do the ordinance when we do the budget amendment. Go ahead and do a vote. Okay. The motion is motion to match county donation for thirty thousand. Is that suitable, Mr. Taylor? It's dollar certain. I mean, it's it's not a variable. No. Motion to match county donation at the amount of $30,000 certain, no variable. Okay. Honorable Mayor, before it is voted on. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. It's already been voted on. Got your motion in second. Am I right? No, it technically has, but if it's going to be an ordinance, it's need a roll call. It's already been voted on, but now we've got to do a roll call because of the nature of the motion. Yes. I believe our latest ordinance was 591. Um, this will be ordinance 5.